Hello everyone. So this video will give a glance of SIFT, which is Scale Invariant Feature Transform. Looking at the usage of SIFT, we see that SIFT is used in applications which involve scaling of an image. For instance, I have an image like this and the pixel around it is this one. If this is scaled, this image is scaled, there are numerous other pixels that are created. SIFT can be used to detect those pixels. I'll give you another example. For instance, I have ABC written like this. So these are all features, the points over here. But if I have an empty sheet or uh, just nothing, there are no SIFT features that are present over here. SIFT is also used in detection of corners, circles, blobs, etc. The procedure is a multi-step process which involves scale space extrema, key point localization, orienter assignment, and finally, the descriptor creation and matching. So the first step is scale space extrema detection. The name is huge, but all it does is, for instance, I have a pixel over here of the complete image. There is blurring done using difference of Gaussian blurring. And then this pixel is compared with all of the eight neighboring pixels. Also with this, it is compared with nine pixels from the next scale and nine pixels from the previous scale. So these are basically different octaves that are present. If this pixel is the local extrema, it is considered as the potential key point, which is then processed on, which moves on to the next step, which is key point localization. So if the intensity of this extrema is less than the threshold value, it is directly rejected. Also, we need features over here and not edges. So using eigenvalues and their ratios, edges are removed in this step. So basically what we'll get is removal of low contrast key points and edge key points. Only the strong interest points stay. Also, just for knowledge, Contrast threshold should be kept as 0 0.03 and edge threshold, which is considered as 10 as the default value over here. Next, orientation is assigned to each key point as to where it is facing. This is best done by creation of orientation histogram. So for instance, I have these key points over here, which have directions randomly like this. Now, if I create a histogram over here, I have, uh, for instance, this arrow is this much, this arrow is this much, this arrow is the maximum, and this arrow is the least one from this. This is all arbitrary. Uh, the maximum would be selected. So as I see, this is the maximum. Also, so this is the peak basically. Also with this, any peak which is more than 80% is taken into consideration. So this step, will create key points with same location and scale, but different directions. This brings us to the second last and the last step, which is key point descriptor and key point matching. Descriptor is a vector of size, the number of key points attained from the last uh, step into 128. So what is 128? What this step does is it creates a 16 cross 16 neighborhood around the key point that it is next divided into 16 sub blocks of size 4 cross 4 and each sub block over here has 8 bin orientations so finally 4 into 4 into 8 which is 128 bins over here also the last step is key point matching key point matching between two images is done by identifying the nearest neighbors so for instance i have an image like this and an image like this and it has the letter A written. So this pixel will have something over here in the neighborhood and over here. This is matched with the second image of same features. Further step involves ratio analysis between the closest and the second closest. And the ratio over here is considered as 0.8 as the threshold to be selected as the matched feature or not. Let's now go through a simple code of SIFT algorithm. As usual, I'm importing the libraries for over here. Then I'm taking this image and uh, reading it 
in Python and storing it to a variable named IMG. Next, I'm converting this image into grayscale with the simple code uh, cv2.color underscore bgr to gray. Now I can directly apply the shift command. The inbuilt shift command is over here, x features 2d dot shift underscore create. To showcase the shift features that are detected, what I'll do is I'll take the same image and draw those circles on the image so that once my output is displayed, it will be stored in the same folder with a new image named statue underscore shift. Also over here, if I see that shift command creates key points and descriptors as told in the theory section. So if I print this KP and descriptors, I'll get an array or a list of 1519 elements. These descriptors can then be used to compare with another frame or uh, maybe there are processes called visual odometry. So that is the time when two frames are being compared and this descriptor is used. Stay tuned and keep watching Robometrics.